people shelter beneath the great machine. This is beyond simple generosity. I must thank Ikora for her gift. This sanctuary is not granted by Ikora alone, but by all who live in the last city. Yes, and on their behalf, let me extend the welcome. I am Osiris, and this is Lakshmi too future war court leader and city representative. My greatest appreciations to you both. The House of Light thanks you. Your house can best show gratitude by keeping to itself. I know your assistance with the Vex will benefit us all, but not everyone in the city is so open. You appear to be settling in. I will leave you to it. If you require further help from us, you must only ask. Uh, I shall. Uh, there are several modifications we will need for stable ether production. Submit a proposal to Ikora. She seems willing to get you anything you need. I must return to the people in the city. Future War Court has foreseen great misery for them in the days ahead. And they will need an advocate. I often forget how highly those in the tower have placed themselves. The air is thin there. Best not to breathe too much of it. You must understand this situation is tense for us all. This encampment perches on the edge of the creed and democracy. I hope your stay with us will be Uneventful. As do I.
Some Alix need tell hatchlings that these wards keep guardians from attacking us in our sleep. We know this is not true, of course, but it helps hatchlings to rest peacefully. Soon enough, they must learn that the guardians cannot be stopped by such things. That they cannot be stopped at all, even by death. After that, the war changes meanings. For grown Elixni, it's a reminder that the great machine blesses life givers and killers alike. But now that we have seen the guardians among their own people, taking orders, and making awkward small talk. I don't think this tradition will continue in the House of Light. We no longer see Guardians as monsters. Just people, frightened and misguided. Hello, my name is Ido. My father is Mizrax, Kel of our house. I took my name from his first awoken friend, Sierra Ido. As scribe for the House of Light, it's my job to preserve our house's history, so that hatchlings may one day learn our stories. Mizrax Kel requested that I leave some records for the humans of the last city, so they might learn about Elixni culture in their own time. As he says, Inside a catch, everyone breathes the same air. Though I have doubts that the humans will care to hear our stories, the snipers who look down on us do not seem like the curious types. But the great machine has chosen them, so I must give them the benefit of my faith. Hopefully this effort does not go wasted. During our golden age, the Elixni civilization spanned many star systems farther than humanity could imagine. And in all of our exploration, we never found anything more wondrous than the Great Machine. It's one of the few things that all Elixni houses can agree on. That's why shrines like these are made of many small pieces. Each bit was added by a different house. It's a tradition that lasted generations. Most of those houses are now extinct, and their members are scattered. It's funny. I revered the Great Machine all my life, without ever having seen it. And now that it's right overhead, I still look to this shrine for comfort. I discovered this shell among spider supplies. Many Elixni fear guardians, but delight at your ghosts. We think of them as extensions of the Great Machine's will, deserving of reverence. When we arrived here, we were surprised to discover that many Guardians treat their ghosts like equals, or worse, like servants. Guardians throw their lives away for sport, in games like Crucible or Gambit, taking the miracle of resurrection for granted. As if ghosts needed the humans, and not the other way around. Elixni have had their blessings from the Great Machine, it's true. But we've never known the power that ghosts grant humanity. I think that if Elixni became Guardians, we would use the light to serve the Great Machine, not our own amusement. This Shank has been with us for many years. She is temperamental, but loyal. She's in need of constant repair, but we're used to it. Our house has fixed every part of her, from sensors to exhaust. So when I look at her, I don't see an object. I see the members of my house. I see myself. To us, Machines are vessels, not just tools. This is why scrap working is so important to Elixni culture. It's a way of sharing our spirit with the world, even when we have nothing. I'm sure that Guardians feel the same way about their tower. 
It's more than a hollow form. More than the rubble it was built from. The tower is the keeper of the Vanguard spirit, and you would defend it more fiercely than any other building. Is it not so? Many Elixni spent their whole lives on ships. They become more than a home. They're like a member of the family. Mizrax found me in the vent of a wrecked ship, you know. We joke that my father is a splicer and my mother is a catch. <laughs> After the fall of our homeworld, Reese, Elixni scattered across the stars. Having lost our grounding, Catches evolved from modes of transportation into permanent homes. Even after Elixney began to resettle in places like the Reef, we never lost our reverence for the machines that kept us alive. Now, after so much wandering, it's hard to believe that there's real ground beneath us and a real sky above. Here lies the remnants of Kel's Scourge, a dark period in Elixni history. After the whirlwind, many Elixni were overcome by feelings of hopelessness. They were homeless, hungry, and hunted by guardians and hive alike. So when Civics founded Kel's Scourge, promising to return Elixni to power with ancient weaponry, Many were drawn to his call. Though the Scourge claimed to fight for Elixni empowerment, in reality, they represented the final degradation of our culture. A once great interstellar civilization was reduced to an anarchist mob, led by a power-hungry coward. Let ours be a cautionary tale. No matter how enlightened a culture, there are always those who prey on our worst impulses for their own gain. <laughs>